is the cervicals, specifically caudus arania, the right area for you? The answer is maybe. I know it's a bit of a cop-out answer, but give me a chance to explain. As my favorite singer Jill Scott stated in one of her songs, you know what they say, everything ain't for everybody. In my opinion, the same can be said for places. A particular city isn't for everyone. And that's how we felt about Cal de Serena after one year. It just wasn't for us. So where do we begin? Yep, finally arrived in the Lisbon airport. Just waiting for the bathroom breaks before we hit customs. And uh, on the way to Argyle. We arrived in Portugal with the hopes of a more simple and less hectic life. Our original plan was to live in the Algarve due to its Mediterranean aesthetic, warmer weather, and the perceived vibes that I enjoyed during my exploration trip back in early 2022. For my wife, the Algarve reminded her of our summers in Spain as a teenager. As many of you all know, life never goes according to plan. During our two weeks in the Algarve, we couldn't find a long-term rental, nor could we find a school for our toddler. The one thing that we learned over the years, through many trials and tribulations, is to be flexible slash adaptable. So, we marched on with our plan B of moving to Caldas Terrania. While there, things quickly started to take shape. We got both kids into school and found a long-term rental in San Martino de Porto which is one of my favorite places from my 2022 exploration trip to Portugal. So our one year near Caldas de Reina began. So, first yeah. night like in Sao. Yeah, like Thoughts? it's awesome. It's human size. It's Come back here, Not too busy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this way. No? Yes, okay. yes. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think it's anything over here. Okay, so where are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's good size. It's good for families. It's Portuguese, not just British or American or French. Yeah, and it's busy, but not too busy. Yeah, good job. <laughs> so it's yeah, I think it'll be a good home. It's a little chilly at night, but so is loose. So yeah, it's true. Not very surprising, and uh, during the day we were fine. We were not cold. It was just the right temperature, very comfortable. All right. Well, see how it goes from here. All right. In my opinion, Cada Serena, for the most part, is not aesthetically pleasing. Now I know you've probably seen this time and time again, and in my other videos, but I want to make a point of that because. As an American, you have this, this view of Europe as being wonderfully old and old buildings from 400 years are well kept and etc. Caldas is not like that. So I want to temper your expectations when if you're considering moving to Caldas. However, the surrounding areas slash landscapes are absolutely gorgeous. From areas like Foz de Arreo, Salir de Porto, and the golf course near Obidosh, I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'll put it on the screen at this point. These are wonderful, wonderful coastline hikes. You have the natural phenomena such as the dinosaur footprints, uh, actually near Falls de Arreo, in between Falls de Arreo and Salir de Porto. You have the sand dunes in Salir, and then there's actually caves nearby, which was on our list to go, but we just never made it. Even though I found the area to be tremendously gorgeous, my wife actually felt a bit different, as the coastline near Caldas actually reminded her of a home in Brittany, France. So it wasn't as special for her. Which leads me to the next point that I want to make. Everything is relative. Which means that the way in which you, yes you, me, and everyone else, perceives the world is by the way of our individual experiences. For me, since I grew up seeing the Florida coastline 
with all the palm trees, the wide sandy white beaches, and etc. The Brittany France and the Calder slash Silver Coast coastline was vastly different from what I was accustomed to experiencing. So for me, it was different and beautiful in its own right. Then there's what I call the old stuff in quotes near Caldish. Highlights such as Obidosh, the monastery of Santa Maria de Acabasa, both of which are part of the seven wonders of Portugal. These are wonderful sights to behold. We frequently went to Obidosh because we enjoyed it so much. But you can't really live there, in Obidosh specifically. It's not really convenient enough for most people. You would have to drive into Caldish to get most of your goods, foods, and services. So, back to whether Caldish is right for you. Well, if you enjoy cooler weather, roughly around the low 60s for the majority of the year, then you'll enjoy it. If you enjoy weather like the Pacific Northwest of the United States, where it's cold and rainy from basically October to May, you will enjoy it. However, I do note that you, you will get some sunshine during this rainy period and cold period. And what they say a Portugal is true. It's a cold country with a warm sun. So if you are directly in the sun in the cold seasons, it actually feels quite nice because the sun is just so warming. If you enjoy beer and wine festivals, then you'll enjoy Caldish because those are the only things that kind of happen in the area. Then there's the community in Caldish Serenia. There's a large expat community, mostly Americans, that have moved to Caldish Serenia area. And honestly, we can pretty much thank one person for this influx of Americans, and that is Josie. I'll leave a link to Josie's YouTube channel in the, in the uh, description. So Josie's a great friend of ours and the community that she helped build, the information that she provided, especially on the schools in the Calgary area were absolutely invaluable. So if you're thinking about having an easier transition, moving to Portugal, especially after what just happened in the 2024 election in the US, you'll know that the Calgary area could be a good landing spot because of that huge American expat community, which you can lean on and obtain information about what's kind of going on in the area. You already have a community that's already together and thriving. And that's one of the major pros of living in the Calder Serenia area. However, I will caveat that it does come with American issues, both pros and cons. I won't go into any details in this video, but you get the good with the bad of the American experience, but in a foreign country. Now, for the bad. First and foremost, as I keep mentioning over and over again, Caldish is ugly. Except for a few streets around the Don Carlos Park and the fruit market. Secondly, the restaurant scene there is quite lacking. There are a few good restaurants that we frequented, but being such a large city of roughly about 50,000 people, the good food options were quite mediocre. If you want to know where the really good restaurants are, check out my walking tour of Caldish. I actually pointed out a few of the, the restaurants that we frequented and we really enjoyed. Another thing that I will say about the restaurant scene is that they aren't consistent. Meaning the consistency that you usually get in the US at chain restaurants it's not present in Portugal. So you can go to the restaurant and have an exceptional meal, amazing experience. You go back two weeks later and it's subpar and you order the same exact meal. So it's quite frustrating and the restaurants here are not as inexpensive as you think. We found that they're just as expensive as the US. And we found that lack of consistency was more present in Caldas than other areas that we visited. Lastly, the weather. I mentioned it previously, so it's either a pro or a con for you. And for us, coming from Florida in the United States, it was a huge con. After about four months of experiencing the cold, rainy weather in Caldas, we immediately knew that, hey, this wasn't for us. 
and we started planning our escape. The last thing that I'll point out that I figured was a con or a bad thing was that we actually got quite bored after a while in college. There just isn't enough things to do that would keep you entertained for a long time. One prime example is even for birthday parties for the kids, everyone frequented two or three places because there just isn't any other place that have birthday parties. And so the large community of expats, you kept seeing and kept going to the same places over and over and over again. And if you aren't an outdoor person that enjoys cold weather, you will really suffer in Kaldish. And there just isn't enough entertainment in Kaldish area region, especially indoors. In summary, there's no one size fits all when it comes to where to live. Luckily, we all like different things. Some of us like being in a bustling city. Some people enjoy peace and quiet. Some enjoy the countrysides and the mountains and some enjoy living next to the sea. Some people, like myself, enjoy warm weather all year long, or some people prefer to have seasons. So, is Caldas terrain your right for you? Maybe. Thank you guys for checking out the video. If you have any questions about living on the Silver Coast or in Caldas, uh, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll definitely get back to you.